to the people of the area formerly known as the pole yard we gotta find a different name because you know why at the end of this meeting and as soon as Kebakas Batis become your representative everything would be different everything would be different so let me tell you come close listen to the message tonight this is the new democratic party and we into our usual community meetings so you can come close you can interact with us you can ask questions from the speakers let me invite chairman of the constituency brother brother major you nearby okay to open in a word of prayer Good night, good night, good night. A second time around. We are here to have a meeting. And before we do that, we're going to grace the presence of Almighty God here tonight. Almighty and everlasting Father, we thank you for your goodness and your mercies towards each and every one of us. You are God and there is none like you. You have created everything. Everything you have created. And we are thankful, O oh God. As we have our meetings here tonight, we grace your presence. The Holy Spirit, we invite you here to lead us and to direct us in whatever we say or do. We give you thanks and we give you praise. We ask for receptive hearts so that you will listen, you will understand, and you will walk on what we do. Father, we just want to say thanks to you again. We ask that you hold the weather tonight that we will conclude and finish this meeting in no other name than the wonderful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. and praises to the Almighty. Tonight is an extremely important community meeting. I want to stress that as you go on tonight. We come to the people of this area. We want to a message to you. We're not asking you to come and meet us. We come in here because we want to mix and mingle and communicate with the people of this area very important and as i know some of you in the past and i stress past would have supported the ulp organization it is time for a better life it is time for a better life and i'm going to bring to your speaker who supported them but the injustice, the lack of progress, is too much. He saw the light. And he's here tonight to say to you that life can be better. And I'll speak to that 
in between the speakers, you know, because a lot of you know I came through this area a lot of times. And the conditions I've seen here is no better than 10 years ago. Can't work. Put your hands together and welcome. Stick up, Charles Net, to address you. Her name is Wisdom. And she's more precious than rubies, diamonds, and pearls. Good night, good night. One and all in Juilliard. Good night. We bring the message to you for support the NDP party. Yeah, I was a labor man. And when I came back from America in 2010, and I see what's going on, I turn. And I am telling you right now, Sister Kebakas Batiste have a vision for Poliard. They want to move all you, but Sister Baki said no when she elected as the nether representative for West St. George. She go in and build some complex with some small business and everybody could eat the food. And you got barn water, sewage and everything. So that is the plan where she have for all you. So don't make them come and fool all you. Because a lot of goodies they forgive out. In this election year, don't make a hundred dollars, a piece of road work, and everything fool you. Never you do that. Because when you get a hundred dollars, you get a piece of road work, two pieces of lumber, two galvanized, two plywood. That is bribe. They're bribing people to vote for them. And I must congratulate the opposition leader for the work, what they do in parliament. They come as the government for me. I listen to the budget. They come as the government was a major and Mr. Friday and all the members of the NDP government come as the government because they don't have nothing to sell. Nothing at all to sell. And I'm telling you right now, what we do here. Now, in NDP government, I want to call no name. I start the house. And I, I was a dead labor man. And I went and I tell a certain minister, I say, man, I go start a house. And I want a load of rabuka, a load of sand and a couple of sacks of cement. He says, stick up, you're not going to have no problem with that. And he know I was a labor man. And he give them to me. And I start my house. No, you never cannot say labor and get a work from the government. You never can say NDP, sorry, and get a work from the government. Anytime you see you have on a yellow jersey, you could never, never get a work from the government. I am telling you, all them things, they have to stop. We have to stop it and get our country, come back together, and everybody live as one and unity in the community. And I tell my nether representative, every, when she assume government and the MP, she not say she just come in just because she want a vote. We have today go all about in the constituency. Evil self is once a Sunday and meet the people and know the needs that they want and support them because them elect she Demi Lexi, not Demi's government, is the people's government. And you see this hand here? Put up your hand. This is the voting finger, and we will vote, vote them out. We have to get rid of them. You have a one-man government in this country here, one person running government. You cannot do that. One person cannot run a government. You take a team to run a government and treat the people them with respect. This man disrespect the nation of this country here. Anything he said, everybody want to agree with him as long as they got on the red. No. He working with us. Them working with us. Our taxpayers money paying them. 
our taxpayers' money paying them. They ain't doing you a favor. Anything you get from them is our taxpayers' money is paying them. And I asking the people of Paul Yard the last time I came down here, and the vote says with a with, with, says it's a failure. And he bring another one now here, campaign with him. He is a failure because he say he want to eat a food. So when he come and eat a food, for his family alone, and you suffering, no comrades and friends, we cannot put up with that. Let we get the NDP into power that your life could be better. A calling on you, a balling, that we get the NDP government into power that everybody could survive and everybody could live as one and get respect for each other. No, you want to tell me you have a government here. No, the sistership of investment program, that is a very good thing in the Caribbean working. And they don't want it. They say they don't sell passport. But that is the thing to make the country blooming and everybody live. Carpenter, everybody. Major Likak said, which I've been in government, I was working with them under the NDP government and I was a labor man. And we used to say, country, country funds, which is a very important thing. Every constituency get the money every quarter. And overseer, we used to say overseer, but they change it up. And the overseer, they used to go to no minister for giving him a job. If it's a big job, the minister could come in. You could have said, go and do that, stick up. Go and do that. And you get the money. No, you got to go. If you don't have an, a red, you cannot get a job. Let me cut out that thing. Let me get back our country together. That's what we need. Comrades and friends, that is what we need. Let me get back our country together. Our country is going under the gutter. I tell you now, you vote for the NDP. Sister Kebakas is a very good woman. She ain't going to run politics. She could live. But she want to help the people of West St. George and help the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So let we get she back together. Let we get she win the seat here. And I got confidence she will win it. I working very hard. Every day I walk. Up to yesterday I came from my brother and meet three people going to work for ID card. And I campaign. I say, oh God, I'll give you the vote. Give Kebakas the vote. Give she. They said they can't take Labour Party. They told me that. Me and them walk up the hill there by me. And they tell me they cannot take Labour Party. Because everything is lie they telling. Everything they telling lies. No, they, they, they have a star radio. They have a star radio. And it's, I don't listen it. Because it's just, is pure stupidness they talking on it and run down one another. And you don't get the NDP run down people. They talk about where, what they could do for the country. That they must talk about. Don't take run down this, run down that. You don't know, sell passport and I sell this. No. Talk about where, they talk about hand to mouth in the VVI. America, Canada, England, and all things. How could you, the same people them who you want to elect you into government, how could you embarrass them like that? Comrades and friends, Sister Kebakas is a nice lady, and I asking everybody, support she. The last election, a lot of people support Makidong He. I know it. I was I used to campaign with Mr. Drews Ferdinand. I working very, very hard to get my government into power. And Mr. Friday is a man for the people 
one love, one unity, and we will work together and bring everybody together, and then you will see how St. Vincent will boom in. Let us go. Let us go and get Sister K back into power. Vote for she. Please vote for she. She's a very good lady, a kind-hearted lady, and a lady we will friend, and she will work with you. Don't afraid, vote she. I say bless you this night here, and I'll go home and sleep and consider. And now, another thing again, if you don't have an ID card, you cannot vote. As long as you reach 18 years, go and look for your ID. If your ID expire, go and look for it. Because you cannot mark an X unless you have an ID card. That is very, very important. If you want to get contact with me, to get your ID card, I live right above the hill there, I will contact, contact me and I will get your ID card for you as long as you're 18 years old. So everybody have a good night and go home and sleep and consider to vote for the lit NDP government that will get them into power, that will life could be better. As soon as 90 days, St. Vincent will start to bloom again. When the NDP get into power, 90 days, we start to bloom. And everybody will see Everybody eating, nobody starving. You ain't going to beg nobody for nothing. So let we get the NDP into power and get Kebakas Batiste into power. And she will help the people of Poliard. Good night, everybody. Me no love likes, mm. me no dance all style And everybody you go like, still me I Yes, 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 let's hear it, first take up And stick up a little younger than myself So you know when he come and speak to you He not looking for anything He realize that the Unity Labour Party and the others, they're not interested in you. And I could tell you this, you know, I will bet you, but you don't have to stake up the money, I can stake it up. That very soon when they call the bell, is the most hug up and kiss up and come in your homes, you're going to see. You're not seeing them again after that. And you ain't seen them since the election. They're not coming back here unless they want your vote. They want to use you. The New Democratic Party is saying, all of we, let me put it that way, all of we must progress. There must be employment for everybody. Stick up, say, whether you're Labour, whether you're NDP, Green Party, whatever party. Once you are Vinci, you're entitled to a share of the pie. Very important that all of us progress together. You cannot, and I'm saying this again, you're going to hear me repeat it. Five years, ten years from now, we come back here and the condition is same. No. You want a better life. You deserve a better life. Don't make anybody say, oh, you're from Paul Yard. You, you are to settle for nothing. You are not nothing. You are somebody created by God. And any politician must respect you. And don't just come for your vote. No way. I'm going to bring to your speaker who... When he talk about transformation, who has been involved.